In this video, we will look at problems involving several people working together to complete a project. For example, if Adam does a job in four hours, it would be a reasonable deduction that each hour he gets one-fourth of the job done. If Betty does the job in twelve hours, it would make sense that each hour she's getting one-twelfth of the job done. Together, in each hour, we need to add these to find out how much work is done. Adam did a fourth of it, Betty did a quarter of, or twelfth of it, and if we add those together, getting common denominators, we find out that one-third of the job is done each hour. This means, working together, doing one-third each hour, it would take three hours to get the entire job done. We use this idea to come up with our work equation. Our work equation will always be the reciprocal of the first person's time, plus the reciprocal of the second person's time, equals the reciprocal of the teamwork time. The key to setting this up is to always use reciprocals to get our per hour output. Let's take a look at some problems where we can use this work equation in order to solve. Here, we have Catherine, who paints a house in fifteen hours. We have Dan, who does it in thirty hours, and we want to know how long it will take the team to do the job. We can set this up as a e rational equation using the reciprocal of Catherine, one-fifteenth, plus the reciprocal of Dan, one-thirtieth, will equal the reciprocal of the team, one over x. This is a rational equation, which we can solve by using the least common denominator. Fifteen and thirty will give us thirty, and we also need a factor of x. So we'll multiply each term by thirty x. As we do, we can reduce out thirty over fifteen is two, the thirties divide out, and the x's divide out. We end up with two x times one, or two x, plus one times x, or x, equals thirty. Combining like terms tells us that three x equals thirty, and if we divide both sides by three, we can conclude that x, or the teamwork time, is going to be ten hours working together. Let's take a look at another problem, where we're given some information and have to deduce how long it will take the team, or the individuals, to get the job done. In this problem, we see that Evan can clean a room in three hours. His sister, Faith, helps, and as a team, it takes them two and two-fifths hours. We don't know how long it would take Faith alone, and also we've got the problem that the teamwork time is a mixed number. So let's change this to an improper fraction, which would be twelve-fifths, by multiplying five times two and adding the two. And then we can set up our equation using the reciprocals. The reciprocals of the individual will equal the reciprocal of the team. So Evan's reciprocal, one-third, plus Faith's reciprocal, one over x, equals the team's reciprocal. The reciprocal of twelve-fifths is five-twelfths. Now we can solve by multiplying everything by the least common denominator, which will be twelve-x. Multiplying by twelve x on each term, twelve over three reduces to four, the x's divide out and the twelves divide out, and we're left with four x plus twelve equals five x. We see we simply need to move the variables all to the same side by subtracting four x, and we end up with twelve equals x. In other words, it will take faith twelve hours working alone to get the job done. The teamwork equation of adding the reciprocals to equal the reciprocal of the team can help us identify how much time it will take each person, or the team, to get the job done.